I was driving the BMW Z4 GT3 car, it was a GT3 race at Zandvoort. Uh, not a unusual track to see in online public lobbies and servers. And we were off to the start of the race. Someone just got teleported to the pits. This was an old video I had recorded with the Trustmaster TSPC and the Sparco B310 steering wheel. There was lots of fighting for positions right at the start, but these guys seemed to be very unfamiliar with the track. So that gave us a nice advantage to do some of our takes. And the guys are spinning off behind us. Now we are fighting for a podium position here, but if we play it smart we might get one just in the next few minutes. This was the day that I learned this track for the first time in Assetto Corsa. As you can see, back then I was using a desk to mount the steering wheel, which was not ideal. The Ferrari lost the position, his racing plan was a bit all over the place. And then we do another overtake on the inside. I believe the Ferrari gained the position back, but now we are in second place and we are trying to hunt for first place while still getting used and learning the track. The Trustmaster TSPC actually has enough strength to make the desk wobble a bit, so you're better off with a lightweight cockpit if you can have one, or just invest in a future-proof cockpit, but you'll uh, enjoy a lot more any steering wheel if you have it mounted on a cockpit, and I undervalued this by quite a margin. Here we are getting very close, trying to overtake the McLaren, we are also under pressure from the Ferrari, so we got to do the move and overtake this car. We had no more room to go, we were on the inside and the guy tries to shut down the line, ended up having contact with us. Now we are in first place and on a new track that I'm not sure how to drive, you'll see me struggling quite a bit and not sure where to brake, not sure where to start accelerating. I understeered. I had to go wide here because the guy was on the inside, but then I have the inside, so... And the guy doesn't try to go around the outside, afraid of spinning off due to contact. And now we just need to try to keep uh, the pace up, manage the pressure that we have from the car behind us, try to avoid any mistakes, just try to keep pushing. We pulled the switcher, the guy tries to outbreak us, but then he doesn't break enough to the corner, for the first corner, so he goes way too wide on entry. I think I was trying to look at the delta and try to see where could I go faster, where was I matching my own speed. And my laps were consistent with the fastest laps on this race with these guys. So I wasn't too worried. Ah, I went wide there. I felt the car a bit twitchy. And maybe I didn't want to steer in too fast because then it would oversteer too hard. Now I'm going to try to defend the position on the inside because this guy was obviously trying to overtake me. And we just keep the position, this is a bit insane. I remember this was the day when I first got the Trustmaster TSPC and jumping from the Logitech into this wheel was a game changer, a huge difference. And because I had gotten it pretty cheap it felt like 
uh, just a small dent in the bank account compared to ring the prices of course. And here we just set up the fastest lap with the uh, three tenths margin, so the guy locks up on corner entry trying to get very close to us. I think I'll start to be a little bit more defensive, I'm already two tenths down. I'm just trying to bring it home. A lot of fun with this setup that I was having back then, but the desk was obviously shaking quite a bit. And even the screen was shaking. Well done, Carlos. Great win. You deserve that today. And off we go through the final corner to get the checkered flag and win our first race at Zenvoort. Be ready, we're about to go green. Go. And now for the second round, I believe some faster driver also joined the server. And here we had a little bit of. Uh, tougher race. We are starting closer to the back as well. This is a cleaner start than the race before. We gotta be careful and avoid contact at all costs because it's a short race and we won't have time to recover. Yellow flags already so people are going off the track. People getting very greedy into turn one but most of the drivers are avoiding contact. Yeah, that greedy Ferrari already crashed the Mercedes in front of him just because the Mercedes was a bit slow picking up the pace on first lap. Now I'm chasing the guy that was chasing me before. So now I'll be trying to see what I've learned from the race before and try to improve upon it. We're sliding a bit around, our tires are getting way too hot. I wasn't sure I had the right setup for this track. With this car I was trying to do my best and here we got lucky. Some of these back markers are distracting a bit from the race. We are very close to the car in front, we only have one lap. I believe it will be very hard to catch him because we went so wide in the first turn. I can even see in the video I had some stuff on top of the desk trying to make weight for the desk so he wouldn't, it wouldn't move so hard, trying to stop the desk from bouncing so hard with the force feedback. Oh, and he's off. Yeah, he locked up. We are very close to P1 now, but the car is a bit twitchy. If we were just trying just that tiny little bit harder, we might have won this race as well. Great racing, great fun to follow this guy around. Hope you guys have enjoyed, please comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.